hey guys so i was about to do my intro but it's like a, a vlog today is day oh, try to remember because i've been getting the days wrong today should be day 16 and if i'm wrong again you already know i'm gonna correct myself i'm already set up it's about one minute till we start what i'm gonna learn about is state of influencer hold on the state of influencer marketing on youtube so this is an industry check so it's 10 a.m and 9 a.m and it's 1 p.m here we're three hours ahead they're three hours behind so i'm gonna show you all this so it says the state of influencer marketing on youtube it's a panel and then y'all can read that for yourself and then these are the people who are going to be on the panel She's a brand manager, as you can see. What's inside? I think he's in what's inside thing. And then YouTube manage your director. So I'm already set up, as you guys see. I don't even know where it is. Where is it here? I'm waiting. It's already 1 o'clock and they haven't started. But it's all good because I don't like rushing. So yeah. You already know the deal. Why is my camera blurry? Can y'all see me properly? I did something to the camera. I did something to the camera. There we go. Can y'all see me? So, y'all already know the deal. I'm gonna learn. There we go. I'm gonna learn. And then probably add some clips. I don't know. I'm probably gonna shut it off because it's already one minute and they're not here. Gonna learn and then tell you guys. Come back and tell you guys what I learned and put my input and all. You know? Okay. So stay tuned. Bye, y'all. Hey guys. So I am back. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be an hour because it said an hour and I'm like for real. So I was like lying down, but it's already 1:44. They started late. <clears throat> Hold on. Let me take my water. So I learned about brand deals, about different types of brand, like, yeah, what different types of brand deals do. So I'm just going to get into it. They didn't really touch on it much. They mostly talked about, like, what you should do when you sign up for the brand deal, what they want. And they mostly talked about Cottonelle because that was who they signed up with. So, the brand deals, they said they have one on Google. It's called Brand Connect. And if you want, they said to go on Google and search for it or something. I will probably, let's see if I can go on there. Yep. They have it, y'all. But you, ha when you go down, you got to scroll down to the third or the fourth. The fourth one that's called Introducing You to Brand Connect. And then it says... Yeah, introducing YouTube Brand Connect, a platform for creators and brands to collaborate. They updated on June 16th this year. It used to be f called Famebit. When they said Famebit, I'm like, Famebit the watch. But I remember because when I went to Playlist Live, they were talking about it. So you could sign up for it. So I'm going to talk about what I learned and then I'm going to screen record and show y'all. So they said the pandemic once they already had a collab they wanted to do with cottonelle cottonelle was who they signed up with and then it messed up everything when the pandemic hit and i'm like the pandemic really messed up so many things but then something good came out of it like good and bad came out of the pandemic so yeah so since the pandemic hit a lot of brands had to tweak out the videos with the influencer so like let's say a brand deal came to me and they said they wanted me yeah they wanted me to do something about travel and i can't speak about it because the travel restrictions you know i don't know if that's a good example but basically brand deals had a hard time with influencers because of the pandemic they had to think they had to think of other ways they can incorporate that product or whatever into their video so they could sell it because of the pandemic so they have to change a lot of people have been staying home because of the pandemic but since the pandemic and they've been staying home a lot of people have been online 
and especially on YouTube, a lot of people have been watching YouTube. People forgot about TV shows and everything because that's, that's me. Well, before the pandemic, I was still watching YouTube. I forgot about the TV. I only watched TV, like I said, it was Empire, Star, and all that. So, they talked about, there was a guy, I'm reading my notes, sorry. He has a YouTube channel called What's Inside. So, in his YouTube channel, he, what he means by what's inside, he gets a lot of products or anything and he cuts inside. Like, I remember he went to, I don't know where he went, he traveled somewhere and he cut inside a diamond that was like the YouTube diamond plaque or whatever and he cut inside just to see what it is. He basically cuts inside stuff to see what's inside there and he said now he couldn't do it because of the travel restrictions so he had to think of other ways but now he's more into golfing so he has a golfing channel too I don't know if that was because of the pandemic or he had that channel before it looked like he had that channel before because if if you looked at his views and his channel it's a lot so for his promotional video he had to do a cottonelle promotion video and he, I thought he did this during the pandemic but he said he, he did it way before and he was holding that because he didn't know when to put that product out so that too a lot of times when influencers do pro product deals they don't know when is the right time to put that in their video and if they do they feel like they're not gonna get enough views so for him he did a spawn not a sponsor yes but you can say sponsorship because it's sponsored by cottonell he did a sponsorship with cottonell and he didn't know how to execute the product into his video so what he did was he traveled somewhere and he it was a museum he said with a big toilet and now cotton Hall. i didn't even know when i saw it, i was shocked cotton Hall has these wipes these toilet paper wipes that dissolves in the toilet because you're not supposed to put wipes in the toilet i already knew that because i don't know i just already knew okay you're not supposed to put regular wipes into the toilet but he he said these new ones where it's toilet paper it dissolves while you flush so Instead of him actually putting in the toilet, because you know me, I would have done that. I would have been like, look, it's dissolved or whatever. I would have done it that, that way and probably another way too, like how he did it. Which, the way he did it was he put it in a jar. I'm going to call it a jar because I forgot what it's called. Mason jar, you could say. And he put the thing in there, the what is called, the wipes in there, and it dissolved. So he added that into one of his videos he didn't really explain what video it was but he basically put that video out what as soon as the pandemic hit so he's smart a lot of brand deals don't do that they tell you that if you don't they give you a time frame when to do the product deal into your video whereas him he already knows how to communicate and i guess they know because he's big or whatever they waited on the right time when to do because a lot of toilet paper sales toilet paper is toilet paper you know what i mean it wasn't popping it wasn't getting as high view but they said the cotton as soon as the pandemic hits everybody was running for toilet paper you got you guys remember that when march hit everybody was running for toilet paper so as soon as the pandemic hit sky high cotton was getting a lot of um views likes clicks and all of that and purchases i think cotton has a channel because they were showing how they're showing commercials and other people talking about it so and then they're showing some channels so i think that was their channel i'm not sure but like you get what i mean once you're doing product reviews you gotta figure out where it can fit in your video because sometimes i've seen a lot of influencers like youtubers they have videos where they don't know where to fit it in and they have to get it up because if they don't get it out, they're not going to get paid or the brand dealer. I don't know if I'm using the word right. They're going to get upset and be like, hello, you got to put it in. This is the date. There's a deadline. You know what I mean? So a lot of YouTubers I see either put the brand deal in the beginning. They used to put it in the middle, but people will skip that. People get upset. So they, they put it in the beginning now or the end. And... A lot of people skip it I'm not gonna lie 
I do skip it. Well, I actually watch it, but if I know, if I've seen it frequently, then I just kind of skip it because one has nothing to do with me. Two, I live in Canada, so half of the brand deals are in the States. I can't get that card. Well, I probably can, but I have to be in the States, but technically I can't get that card. You know what I mean? I know I'm going off topic. So let me go back into what I was saying. Since the pandemic, I'm looking at my notes here, sorry. A lot of people were on YouTube. So they said since the pandemic, March to April, a lot of people were doing get ready with me videos. And I seen, I was going to go into that, but I was like, I don't want to do that because there's going to be millions and millions of videos about get ready with me. Who's really going to watch my video? Like people are going to watch it, but I'm not going to get that the highest view, you know what I mean? So I never did it. There was a lot of DUI face mask videos because the pandemic, you gotta wear your face mask, you know what I mean? So they said that was March to April. They also said coffee recipe. I mean, I seen coffee, coffee recipes, but I didn't see a lot, so I don't know about that. Y'all comment below if you've seen a lot of coffee re recipes between March and April. They said May and June, they seen a lot of uh, videos about Black Lives Matter. And it's true because of George Floyd, uh, Breonna Taylor, they were talking about, they're bringing up other, other people, Black Lives Matter. That's when everything happened because a lot of officers were killing us black folks, you know. They were saying also May to June, there was a bike repair and dance workout. Dance workout? I only seen a little. I didn't see a lot. I only seen a little. Bike repair. I never, never seen bike repairs. I seen car repairs, but bike repairs? No, I didn't see that. But y'all comment down below if you seen that. In June, July to August, again they were doing face mask makeup. What? Face mask makeup? I never seen that. Have you guys seen that? Comment down below. I seen a lot of makeup videos, like more makeup videos were coming up i mean makeup videos were already there but like it wasn't in my recommended i guess because i stopped watching it like i told you i only watch one youtuber and her name is cosmoholics that does makeup i only watch her i haven't watched her in a long time because she was going through her no before i go into that i was focusing on my channel and then i got back into watching to, with her and then she was going through stuff with her family so she wasn't posting much i was like okay we all got stuff to do, you know what I mean? So I had to go back into my channel. But yeah. Face mask makeup. Never seen that. But y'all comment down below if you've seen that. Back to school haul. Yes. Weight, weight watchers recipe. Yes, I've seen that. Like um, the keto diet and all that. Seen a lot of that. So yeah. So from March to August was like a big peak of everybody watching online. I wish. I really, really wish I a lot of videos in March because <laughs> you guys know I wasn't doing a lot of videos in March because I told you I was like I'm down I don't know what to put out because of the pandemic but yeah I'm putting out videos now so you guys know and then audience are watching more so they said audience are watching more so they said 20 percent 27 percent more audience are watching YouTube